Hi guys, welcome back. It's Professor Hank. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the total of all of the values in a two-dimensional array. So we're going to do this by first making sure that we understand what the problem is that we're trying to solve. Then we're going to formulate a algorithm that will help us solve the problem. And then we'll implement that algorithm in a sample C++ program that we'll write with Visual Studio. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So you can see on the screen that I've got a representation of a two-dimensional array. It's just simply populated with random values. And we'll go through and understand what it is that we're trying to do, right? We wanna add up all of the numbers that are in this array. So that way we'll have a total, okay? And that total we'll want to be able to show to the user. So how are we gonna do that? Well, first things first, we're gonna need to be able to store the total somewhere. So we'll need a variable that contains, or that is gonna be able to store that. Now, what's in total right now? I don't know, right? So when you create a variable in C++ until you actually put something there, you don't know what's there. So we're gonna put something there and we're gonna put zero, all right? Because we're gonna go through each element, you know, element by element, row by row, and take each value in each element and then add it to our total. So the very first value we're gonna be adding is gonna be eight. So we wanna be able to add what's in total and what's in that first element of the first row. So it's important that we make sure that total has something that we know what it is. So zero plus eight is eight, obviously. And so then that eight is gonna become our new total. All right, so then we're gonna move on to the next value in that first row, which is six. We're gonna to add total and six together. And that's gonna give us 14. And then we're going to put that, we're going to assign that to total. That becomes our new total. We're going to move to the next value in the, in the first row, which is 7. We're going to add total together in that value. And that's going to give us 21. And then we're going to assign that 21 to our total variable. We'll move to the last value in the first row, which is 5. We'll add total, the 5. That gives us 26. And then we'll put that in our total variable. So... Time to move on to the next row, first value, second row, it's three. So we'll take what's in total, we'll add that three to it, that'll give us 29, and then that 29 becomes our new total. Move to the second value in the second row, which is zero, take what's in total, take the total, add that second value, which is zero, we used to get 29, and then we assign that back to total. Move to the third value in the second row, it's nine, take total, Add the 9, gives us 38, and then we put that 38 in total. Move to the last value in the second row, which is 4, take total, add the 4, gives us 42, and that becomes our new total. Now we're moving to the last row, maybe you can see the pattern here, right? We're having to repeat adding up everything in one row for each row. So we're going to use that fact in our algorithm, okay? So we're going to take that 42. That's in total. We're going to take that first value in the last row, add them together, it gives us 43. That becomes our new total. Move to the second value in the last row, add total, and that value together gives us 48. That's our new total. Go to that third value in the last row, 4, add total, plus the 4. That gives us our new value, our new total, 52, and that becomes our new total. And then finally, we're going to end with the last value in the last row, and we're going to take what's in total, add that value 2 together, that gives us our new total, and that's going to be assigned to total. So now we're done. There's no more values. We went through each value in each row. We got our total 54. We can now display that to the user. So let's put that in the form of an algorithm. Remember what the first thing is that we did. We initialized a variable named total to zero. Then what did we do? For each value in a row, what did we do? We added that value to total, okay? So then what we had to do is we had to repeat that for each row, okay? That's it, that's all there is to it. So now let's take a look at an example in Visual Studio. Okay, so here we go. And you can see that I already have our two-dimensional array initialized with all of the values from our opening example. So remember in our algorithm, what was the first thing that we had to do? We had to initialize a variable named total, okay? Then from there, we went 
value by value, row by row, adding everything up to total. So for each value, we had to take what was in total, right? And we had to add the value to it. So we took what was in total and we took the value. So in nums, right? So we started off with the first value, which was in the first row, first element. And then we went to the second element in the first row and then the third and then the fourth. And then we had to go to the next row and start off with the first value, move to the second value in the second row, the third value, and so on. Okay, so that's the idea. So the first subscript is going to be representing our row, and then the second is going to be our columns. So we went column by column. We went value by value. So we had a loop that was doing that. We were looping. We were doing it over and over and over again. So, so for int c equals zero, so long as c is less than the total number of values in the row, so that is going to be four. We're going to go ahead and add what's in total and what's in that particular element and add that to total. Okay, but remember, this was for each value in a row. Okay, but we have to repeat that for each row. Okay, so int r equals zero. How many rows do we have? R less than three. Okay, r plus plus. Okay, so this is for each row. Okay, and so for each value in a row, so basically what that means is for each column. Okay, so that should be everything that we need. Now let's go ahead and display the total. Is total. Okay, so let's just go ahead and compile it and run it and see if we get 54. That's what we saw when we went through and formulated our algorithm. So let's do it. Let's see if that's what we get. And there you go. So success. All right, so that's everything I have for you in this video. If you thought the video was useful, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, you've got that thumbs down as well. Please consider supporting the channel in various ways. You can leave a comment, you can subscribe, hit the bell so you know when new videos are being published. You can join as a paid member with additional perks for as little as 99 cents a month. Also, you can hit that super thanks as well. As usual, if you're a student of mine and you have any questions, please feel free to stop by my office hours, hit me up through email, or log in and talk to me via Zoom. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.